I'm going to make a short video for May the 4th. Um, unfortunately, I haven't done anything to our two since my last video. Uh, I took them apart and brought them in from the garage, and here he sat. Uh, the reason for that is last weekend was the Pacific Northwest R2 Builders meet up at the Seattle Museum of Flight, and right up until um, the week of the event, I thought there was a chance that I might be able to go, but uh, through nobody's fault, my work schedule simply wouldn't allow me to go. So I left him in pieces, thinking that I would be putting him into my car and bringing him down to the gathering, but unfortunately that didn't happen. So I figured I'd make a video on the 4th and it would show uh, what the status is of taking him apart. Uh, basically, the foot hoses, center ankle, um, booster covers, and the legs, and then the main body. And the other thing is I don't think my videos show the electronics mounted in the body. Now it is um, based on Jason Charlton's design, so it's pretty much the same as his. But I thought I'd show it. And one little modification that I did involves the center foot here. Um, this hole. Now, this center ankle is two pieces epoxied together and as well as two bolts that bolt it together. And then this is where the bolts come through the body into the center ankle. And this hole that I drilled, I drilled because um, I read online on the Michael Badley Facebook forum, Facebook page, um, just randomly came into a post that mentioned this right here. This bolt that goes through these two crossbars and the base plate here. And I didn't have one in there. Um, it was not in the instructions, even though there were holes for it. But I didn't know if you were supposed to bolt it in there because, as I said, it wasn't in any instructions or notes I saw anywhere. And although the hole is in all three pieces, it's not recessed on the back or the front. So where do you put the bolt head? Where do you put the nut on the other side? And then the battery tray uh, that Jason Charlton designed, <clears throat> excuse me, sits right here and covers that area up. So you have to deal with a nut on this side with the battery box being there, cutting out part of the battery box, which might make the nut come in contact with the bottom of the batteries which I didn't want to take a chance of so my decision was to countersink use a countersink bit to countersink the head of the bolt on this side and then I have a lock a nylon lock nut on the other side and I drilled a hole just big enough for it to fit in in the center foot I don't believe that is going to weaken the center foot at all. Uh, one thing I might do, just for the heck of it, is run the soldering iron down the seam here between where the two parts join together to give it a little bit more strength to melt those two pieces together. And um, that might be a, a thing to do, although I don't know if the center ankle separating is an issue that tends to happen um, that would definitely help prevent that so that's one modification that I made <clears throat> and then we can see here 
the electronics board in place. Also the motor mount in place. Uh, I have a slip ring, but it's obviously not in here yet. And there's another printed part that kind of fills this gap here between the motor frame, dough motor frame, and this cross support. But there is my electronics board. Um, the battery would go in the bottom. I have this connector is the switch that controls the relay for the foot motors. And this connects to the battery board for the battery power in to the electronics board. And then I've got battery leads that attach to the batteries. And as you can see, I use the same latches that uh, Jason uses. He's got links in his video to where to get these latches. And there's two on the bottom and one on the top. So if you loosen that one, then the board comes down. And this is the first time I've tried it since I zip tied my motor wires and I just realized right now that makes it's that close where the motor wires aren't gonna fit with that part of the zip tie so there we go now it does that's how close that fit is I could have just taken a little bit out of the side there but just move the zip tie and yeah it, it allows this to um, fold down. Right now it's I still have the dome motor plugged in which I need to reverse the wires either at the motor or on the siren board because uh, the dome rotates right when I'm using my controller to the left. But yeah if those wires weren't connected this would fold down and I have access to the back of the electronics board. And then pull that and put it in there. And now it's in there. It does wiggle because I haven't printed any rubber grommets to go in there. So you can hear the latch rattling around. Um, I did go to a hardware store hoping I could find a pre-made grommet that I might be able to push through the hole and it would stay in place and uh, would fit this latch. But I found one that fits the latch but it's way too tight and it won't go into the hole because it's too big of a diameter so that didn't quite work out but yeah there we go just a, a short video to say um, happy May the 4th to everybody and unfortunately I was not able to attend the large get-together so R2 has still not been any further out of the house than the garage but hopefully at some point uh, he will make it